Hello everyone, good evening. So in this lecture, I will be discussing the basic working principle and constructional feature of three-phase induction motor. As you know, three-phase induction motor is a very big topic. So it's not feasible to complete the entire thing within five to ten minutes. Just I'm going to uh, give a basic idea about three-phase induction motor, about its working principle, about its constructional feature. Okay. So my name is S R T. You are watching my beautiful channel, Love Him Science. So three-phase induction motor actually kya hota hai? थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर हेडिंग दे दो थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर जैसे यू नो मोटर क्या होता है मोटर इज ए इलेक्ट्रिकल डिवाइस व्हिच कन्वर्ट्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी टू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी मतलब इनपुट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एंड आउटपुट इज मैकेनिकल एनर्जी सो दैट इज मोटर मोटर इज ए इलेक्ट्रिकल डिवाइस व्हिच कन्वर्ट्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी टू मैकेनिकल एनर्जी नाउ द पॉइंट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी आर टू टाइप One is DC, other is AC. Again, AC are two types: single phase and three phase. Now, based on the input power supply, we can classify motor in various categories. Like, if input is DC, then that is called DC motor. If input is AC, that is called AC motor. AC again two types: single phase and three phase. If it is single phase AC supply, then we can say single phase motor. If it is, if the input is three phase, that is called three phase motor. But now the our topic is three phase induction motor so obviously we can say the input is three phase input is three phase ac so matlab it is a motor which converts three phase electrical ac supply to equivalent mechanical power now why it is called induction motor because the principle is based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction ठीक है, that's why that name is three phase induction motor. Basic overall idea आ गया definition क्या है? It is a motor which converts three phase AC to mechanical power. ठीक है, so coming to construction, basic construction and working principle. Basic construction and working principle. ठीक है. Three phase induction motor has two parts. It has two parts. One is stator, second is rotor. Stator is the stationary part, rotor is the rotating part. मतलब the outer part is called stator and this inner part is called rotor. मतलब this one is stator and this one is rotor. Now the point is what is stator, what is rotor? स्टेटर क्या है स्टेटर मतलब इट इज ए हॉलो सिलिंड्रिकल कोर व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ सिलिकॉन स्टील एंड इट इज उंडेड विद थ्री फेज वाइंडिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वाइंडिंग अगेन आई रिपीट तो स्टेटर में क्या आपको मिलेगा स्टेटर में विल बी गेटिंग स्टेटर कोर क्या है स्टेटर कोर एंड थ्री फेज वाइंडिंग स्टेटर कोर दैट स्टेटर कोर इज ए सिलिंड्रिकल हॉलो सिलिंड्रिकल core which is made up of silicon steel and it is laminated again i repeat uh, the stator core is made up of silicon steel with lamination silicon steel q to reduce hysteresis loss to reduce hysteresis loss and lamination q to reduce ad current loss okay and it has three phase winding three phase winding matlab a thin copper wire is wounded and that 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 is in the form of three phase okay so matlab stator has a stator core and three phase winding okay. now rotor kya hai rotor is a cylindrical core it is a cylindrical core again it is made up of silicon steel but rotor has rotor conductor rotor conductor and this rotor conductor or you can say rotor winding kya hai rotor winding and these are made up of thick copper wire matlab thick copper wire or copper bar we can say theek hai that is basic uh, constructional feature important point is how it works see as i have told three phase induction motor converts three phase power to mechanical power मतलब इनपुट इज गिवन टू द स्टेटर पार्ट दैट इनपुट इज थ्री फेज 
सो वेन एवर थ्री फेस सप्लाई इज गिवेन टू दी स्टेटर स्टेटर में क्या है स्टेटर कोर विथ स्टेटर वाइंडिंग मतलब वेन एवर थ्री फेस सप्लाई इज गिवेन टू दी स्टेटर पार्ट The three-phase winding will be energized. Again, I repeat important point. Whenever three-phase supply is given to the stator winding, and the stator three-phase winding will be energized. So, as you know, whenever current is given to a coil, that will produce magnetic field. Since it is three-phase power, so three-phase current is given to the stator winding. So, three-phase magnetic field will be developed. ऐसा नो जैसे क्लास ट्वेल्थ में था ना सोलिनोड था वेन एवर करेंट इज गिवेन टू ए सोलिनोड और कॉयल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल बी डेवलप टू रिटर्न दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वी कैन टेक ए कोर दैट कोर विल रिटर्न दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सेम कॉन्सेप्ट हियर हियर यू यू फाइंड थ्री फेज वाइंडिंग एंड द एंगल डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंजिक्यूटिव कॉयल इज हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी डिग्री विथ ए सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर विच इज मेड अप ऑफ सिलिकॉन सिल मतलब द एंटायर सिस्टम विल प्रोवाइड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड व्हेन एवर इट विल बी एनर्जाइज्ड फ्रॉम द थ्री फेज सप्लाई ओके सो अगेन फाइनली आई रिपीट व्हेन एवर थ्री फेज सप्लाई इज गिवन टू द स्टेटर वाइंडिंग द स्टेटर थ्री फेज वाइंडिंग विल बी एनर्जाइज्ड एंड इट विल प्रोड्यूस अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल सर्कुलेट इन बिटवीन स्टेटर एंड रोटर और दैट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल सर्कुलेट In the air gap, air gap means the gap between stator and rotor. Okay, so the speed at which it will circulate is called synchronous speed. That synchronous speed, N S. Synchronous speed, what is it? The speed of revolving magnetic field. Now, <coughs> rotor has bunch of conductor, or you can say rotor winding or rotor bar. so that since magnetic field is revolving or magnetic flux is revolving so there must be a flux caught by this conductor so according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction the rate of change of flux will be there because rotor initially rest may static portion may but magnetic field is revolving you will be getting some rate of change of flux over here so since there is a rate of change of flux that emf will be induced then ro induced rotor current will flow to the rotor coil so again if rotor current carrying conductor is kept inside this magnetic field mechanical force will be developed you know if a current carrying conductor is kept inside a magnetic field then it experience a mechanical force so similarly if a rotor current carrying conductor is kept inside this magnetic field mechanical force will develop sum of mechanical force will give resultant torque matlab what will be our conclusion here there is no electrical connection between stator to rotor and rotor current will be induced due to the principle of induction faraday's law of electromagnetic induction see we are not giving direct supply to direct supply to the rotor we are giving three phase supply to the stator then magnetic field will be developed that magnetic field will circulate in this air gap the speed at which it will circulate is called synchronous speed then since rotor uh, uh, rotor initially it has at it is at rest condition so there must be some magnetic flux caught by the rotor so according to faraday's law of electromagnetic induction rate of change of flux is directly proportional to emf so emf will be induced in the rotor side then induced current will flow again you know current carrying conductor if it is kept inside this magnetic field mechanical force will be developed matlab here rotor current carrying conductor placed inside this magnetic field that conductor will experience a mechanical force sum of all mechanical force will give resultant torque matlab we have given three phase supply as electrical and we are getting mechanical power in terms of torque or speed that is the basic working principle still i am writing here वेन फर्स्ट पॉइंट क्या है वेन थ्री फेज सप्लाई इज गिवेन टू स्टेटर हियर आई एम राइटिंग वेन थ्री फेज सप्लाई इज गिवेन टू स्टेटर ए रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ए रोटेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड डेवलप्ड एंड द स्पीड 
of that magnetic field speed of the rotating magnetic field speed of rotating magnetic field is called synchronous speed ठीक है ये सेकेंड पॉइंट थर्ड पॉइंट क्या है रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ फ्लॉक्स इज डायरेक्ट सॉरी थर्ड पॉइंट क्या है थर्ड पॉइंट क्या है रोटर कंडक्टर कॉट बाय दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड this magnetic field then emf uh, induced and then induced current flow induced current flow through the rotor conductor through the rotor conductor theek okay? hai and final point kya hai रोटर करेंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर द रोटर करेंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर इज प्लेस्ड इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विच मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड डेवलप ड्यू टू स्टेटर मैं लिख रहा हूं इधर डेवलप और ड्यू टू स्टेटर ओके रोटर करेंट रोटर करेंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर रोटर करेंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर carrying conductor is placed in magnetic field then mechanical force will be developed or it experience mechanical force it that rotor current carrying conductor experience mechanical force so sum of all force will sum of all force gives रिजल्टन टर्क रिजल्टन टर्क बस इतना ही सिलेबस में सिंस यू आर इन फर्स्ट ईयर बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग तो इतना ही सिलेबस में ठीक है जस्ट यू नीड टू नोट दर्किंग प्रिंसिपल एंड कंस्ट्रक्शनल फीचर ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर एक्चुअली इफ यू टॉक अबाउट थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर इट्स अ वेरी वास्ट एरिया सो वी कैन नॉट फिनिश दैट एंटायर कंस्ट्रक्शनल फीचर इन डिटेल विद इन that stipulated time okay so okay anyhow you have to know this this thing for your exam point of view next is uh, what are the application of three phase induction motor so application kya hai three phase induction motor is used in industry and uh, it is used in lift elevator escalator okay or exhaust fan in industry एग्जस्ट फैन एग्जस्ट फैन सिंगल फेज इंडक्शन मोटर हो सकता है डोमेस्टिक में जो होता है बट इंडस्ट्री में जो एग्जस्ट फैन है मोस्टली थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो थैंक यू